Good morning, you guys. I've got my coffee shirt on. Stay up, coffee savage. I got my cup of coffee. We are officially eight days out till the 20 kilometer USA race walk Olympic trials and I wanted to make a video giving three tips on how to handle high pressure races. I wrote these tips down. I'm gonna give them to you up front so that you know exactly what the tips are and then I'm gonna explain them afterwards and why they're important. Tip number one, music. There's a reason at these big high intensity track meets you see a bunch of people walking around with headphones on. Music creates a space, an energy for you to get into the mood that you wanna get into. Music creates a bubble where you feel like you're, you feel like you're in your own little world. And if you can create a line to separate everything else that's going on around you, all the loud sounds and music that's going on in your head, especially with music that you're really, really fond of, that will help you to relax. Tip number two, make a routine. A routine is important because it replicates what you do at home and it brings it to the track. Let's say in the morning that you wake up, you stretch, you drink a cup of coffee, then you go and you do your warm ups, you do your drills. Maybe you like to read, maybe you like to journal, but if you have a specific order on how you do things at home, you should not change that when you're at the race. The entire purpose of the routine is to bring that sense of comfort in the pattern of the way that you do things to the race. And tip number three that I came up with was call somebody who understands. This can be a coach, it can be a family member, it can be a close friend, but calling somebody who fully understands how you feel in that moment will help to settle the feelings. I would recommend calling somebody who you talk to about your athletics often, or calling somebody who has guided you in the right way before, or call somebody who just makes you feel calm. So to recap, the three tips are music, routine, and call somebody who understands. Why are these things important? The Olympic trials are coming up and for many people it's going to be the very first time that they make an appearance. Even though you might have raced the distance before, the energy at track meets like this are exponentially larger. It's massive. You can walk into a stadium that you've walked into a million times before, but because of the title and because of the energy that that race brings, the expectations that you have on your own performance and the expectations of people who are coming to watch, what they expect to see, that raises the energy level of a competition tenfold. When the energy is raised, that energy can be very overwhelming. We have all felt that before. Maybe in the past, you've never really been able to pinpoint what the feeling is, but you can get lost in the crowd. With energy from the outside that is that high, these three tips help to produce energy from within to be able to try to combat the energy that's coming from the outside. When you listen to music, I want you to visualize it's as if you're creating a little bubble around you. This bubble is your space. I would recommend creating a specific playlist for your races. Music that makes you feel good, positive, motivated, pumped up, but that's not enough. You have to then use that playlist during practice to begin creating what it is that you want to feel on the day of the race. When you accomplish this, you then take that playlist and then you use it on the day of the race. This brings a little piece of home to this foreign place where you have to go and race now. Then we move into the routine. This is the exact same way that you use a routine. You might be in a hotel, an Airbnb, but regardless, if you have to travel to a very big race, and it feels very foreign to you because you're in a different city, you have to bring a piece of home to you. What the routine does is it puts you in the repetitive state of the comfort of being home. When you're placed in a new environment, it's very easy to create new habits to adjust to the new environment. You don't wanna do this. There are some things that you kinda of have to put up with and deal with, like say getting a taxi or an Uber or, or trying to find your Airbnb. But once you get situated in one of those places, you want to to respect what you've been doing for months to prepare for this race. The only way to do that is to continue to do the routine that you did at home. So if you do tea, if you do coffee, if you do meditation, if you do board games, if you watch a movie, you want to replicate that at the place that you're going. Why would you want to change that? Don't fall for that because that's a very easy one to fall for. Number three, call somebody who understands. The reason this is important is because when you're done with the music and when you're done with the routine, we can't forget about the people. A majority of this journey 
that you have made to make it this far could only have been possible because of the support and the love that you have had from people around you. The sad part is, is that those people can't always make the trip with you. But we have this really cool thing called the phone. If you have the ability to do so, call somebody who understands. You're bringing them, you're literally for one brief moment, teleporting them from another city to be right with you to have a conversation, even if it's for a few brief moments, and you remember so many things that come along. There's so many things that when we travel, we have to leave behind. You don't get the motivational posters on the wall. You don't get reassuring words of the people who care about you. You don't get to bring your home, your room, all the things that you've placed around your home that have been there to motivate you. You don't get to bring those things. So when you're in a new environment, it's very easy to create a new habit, but you don't have enough time to solidify that habit. So you have to hold true to what you've been doing for months on end. So even though I gave you guys three tips, I want you to understand that those three tips are just examples of the larger picture. The entire point is to combat the energy from these high intense races by bringing energy from your home to the new place. This is a big reason why people choke at big races. While I wasn't expecting the music to be that loud, I wasn't expecting the crowd to be that loud or the crowd to be that big. I never race in front of a crowd. It's normal and you can't give yourself a hard time about it, but you do have to try your best to defend yourself. Only by doing this can you really promise peace, comfort and motivation to be able to perform to your best abilities. So I hope that helps. Always remember you guys, take a piece of home with you. If you're going to the Olympic trials, I will see you there. And I hope that this stuff helps. It's something that I do very often. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.